I'm Steve and today we're going to cover a how to um, segment that is how to laminate if you're using a Magicard Prima 4 printer which is a retransfer printer. Um, so we're going to go through that and then after that we're going to show you the bad photo ID of the day. And um, before we get started on this segment um, I want to talk a little bit about the Magicard Prima 4 printer we have here today and it comes with a three year warranty and it has a three year loaner. It's the only retransfer printer on the market with a three year loaner. So if you ever have a problem, we can get you a printer so you're not out of a printer for very long. Um, also has a lifetime warranty on the print head. You'll never have to buy a print head again. And it has over the edge printing, which means it prints completely out over the edge of the card. It's able to do this because it's a retransfer. It's not a direct to card printer, which requires you to have a 16th of an inch white border around it. So it's high quality printing, has USB and Ethernet connection. And with no further ado, we're going to have our technician, uh, Kyle, come down and show us how to operate the lamination part of this printer. All right, so today we're just going to review just a general overview of the lamination. Um, I'll show you how to connect it to the, the main printer and um, just kind of what's inside of it. So. Um, I'll just go over what's inside of it real quick. So if you open up the cover, um, you'll notice a little red blinking light now stating that, hey, something's wrong with the, the lamination, it's not ready. Um, that's just because the cover's open right now. Um, these are your two hoppers for the lamination. Um, it looks very similar to the um, color code within the printer because they're the same colors, but they're completely different ca uh, cartridge styles, so you won't be able to mix and match. Um, right now we have a double-sided lamination unit. Um, if you were to get a single-sided, um, one of these would just be blocked out. Um, so with dual-sided, um, it's really simple. The lamination comes as just lamination. It doesn't come with a take-up um, spool. That comes with the printer. Um, what you do is you just un you know unpackage the, the spool. Um, then you would take there's a label on here. You just peel that label off, uh, line it up with the spindle, and just put the label on as it's tape. Spin it a couple of times and it's good to go. Um, this also comes with a little diagram of how to path the uh, laminate through the tension uh, prongs. And um, I mean, it's really, really simple. Um, you know, there's not much to actually installing lamination rolls to this printer. Um, you know, like I said, it's just color coordinated. There's arrows um, telling you which side is up, which side is down, and those click in as well. Same with the ink and retransfer film cartridges. Uh, now that that's all set, you close the cover and it'll automatically recognize that you've closed the cover and it'll start trying to look for both lamination um, spools and it will let you know if it sees them or not. Um, the printer will display, you know, if, if it's not seeing one of the rolls, it'll say retransfer roll or laminate T or laminate B um, and what roll it's searching for. Um, connecting this printer or connecting the lamination to the printer is very simple. There's no external cords, there's no cases that you have to take off. It's all RFID um, equipped. So all you do is, uh, when you have the printers off, you go ahead and pick up the printer or the lamination, and you'll see that this comes with a little stand just to keep these two units together. As you see, there's no wires anywhere that connect. You don't have to take anything apart to do this. Um, you just lift this up, find the holes where it is, and set them together. That's it. Um, when you're turning this machine on and off, you start, when you're turning it on, you turn the lamination unit on, wait a few seconds, and then turn the printer power on. Uh, what this does is it gives the lamination a few seconds to kick in, initialize, and when you turn on the printer, it's going to be looking for the lamination unit. 
if it's not on and the printer is on, you're going to get an error. Um, when turning it off, you just reverse procedure. Turn the printer off first, and then turn the lamination off. And that's it. All right. Thanks, Kyle. As promised, here's the bad photo idea of the day. And while you're looking at that, um, if you have any questions you want to submit to the SD show, just go to our Facebook on our website and submit the question. And if we use it on the show, we'll get you a gift for, for being so nice to us. And um, the other thing I wanted to point out is if you'll give us five minutes of your time to compare our pricing to either where you're getting supplies or, or equipment now to, um, to what we have to offer, um, we'll give you a $5 um, Starbucks card just for, for you spending the time to, to talk to us. So to get in touch with us, uh, call our 800 number, 800-798-3343 or look us up on our website at idedge.com.